YouTube, what's good? Welcome back to another live commentary. Today, I have the pleasure of showing you some gameplay of the brand new Taken Spare Rations Hand Cannon. It's a 120 hand cannon, not the worst archetype in the game. Let's be honest, it's not a 180 RPM, thank goodness. So this thing is going to be able to hit hard, good for team shots, much better at 3v3 playlists for sure. It is a void archetype, so you can definitely mix this with some of your void builds. Right off the bat, I'm looking at the reticle and it looks very clean. Definitely one of my favorite sites. Thankfully, we got a trade. We have to find a way to push through the center of the map and gain control. Now, my role is not a god role at all. It comes with harmony, which is definitely, you know, one of the fun perks to use in the game. Not the best, but it gets the job done. I managed to get one with some sweet outlaw to combat that low reload speed. Take a look at that. I'm gonna jump over. Oh, a lot of players pre-aiming. We need more support on B. Looks like the disciples managed to secure that. That's huge. Beautiful. It kicks a lot. But that's to be expected with a hand cannon that... Oh my god, my shotty did not kill him. I thought I was going to destroy him right there. Now really the goal with these type of 120 hand cannons is keep your distance. The closer you get, the harder it's going to be to be alive in some of these like fast-paced situations. No, I got pushed. We are struggling here with the map control. Kimmy gets one. I'm going to go right side here. Look at that big damage. Nice team shots. He's still rocking that lemon arc. We had some beautiful teamwork where we shut down everybody together. I'm trying to help you out. Let's put a barricade on the zone. I got smoked. Means I got to rotate now. I'm not going to be able to. Who's that warlock kind of just baiting on the side? Look at him. I don't have any grenades to stop a push. That guy's very weak. Oh, that melee's pushing me away. I feel like that warlock melee's pushing me a lot more than it's supposed to. It's never done that before, so... I find myself to getting pretty unlucky right now. Oh my god, it actually feels so crispy. This is definitely a spare rations. Hold it down, hold it down. But the reload speed, bro. I feel like I almost need all of for sure. I'm curious to look at the perks. Just from playing with it, I get a really good idea of like what the god was going to be. Oh, the bubble died. I don't think he made his orbs either, which is really unfortunate. Got one. Holding down, teammate. I've been pushing that lane a couple times, and honestly, it's not been working out for us, so. Good teams. Let's take a look at this lane together. Beautiful. Now we're popping off. Nice, got the sunspot kill. That's another one. We're going to chase these guys down in their spawn. Potentially looking for a flip spawn here. Oof. Actually survived. Let's put a trim in over there. A barricade to block some potential flanks. Nice. There's too many people here. I do need to rotate. I'm itching to get these orbs of power. I don't expect myself to be able to get another super, but where is this player? They didn't get to tag him once. Whose Will of Radiance is that? That is an enemy one. There's no way we're defending that. So we're in a bit of a pickle here, considering that 
they have a Will of Radiance on the zone. Huge kill. Do we just destroy that guy together? I'm going back to spawn. There's one behind me somewhere. Ah, so close to the reran. The hunter went invis, and I lost him completely from the radar. So that by the time that I noticed the radar ping, it was too late. So I'm kind of testing the hammer throw as well. Not really impressed by it, to be honest. I haven't been able to lock on to a single target. Nice, we got one down. That's another one. Thank you, Harmony. The beautiful buff right there. I'm definitely feeling the kick on the hand cannon. Beautiful team shots. Thank you for the healing nade. Destroy that guy. Let's get a trip mine over there. I put it in the wrong spot. That's what he said. Okay, we got a trade. I'm so close to another super. I kind of want the game to last a little bit longer so I can get a Sunbreaker. No, but real talk though. The big thing we have to do is compare this to the Igneous Hammer because it already feels really good. If it can get a way to reduce the stability kick, we're golden. Uh-oh. I win that. I got the two-tap thanks to the Harmony buff. Uh-oh. On the flank. Watch out. It's almost over. Sadly. I do have the hammer throw soon. I got the Harmony. Almost a two-tap. Mind you, it's not the God Roll perk, but... It's very nice to see that even a 120 harmony buff is just completely diabolical with the damage it puts out. And we got our Sunbreaker just at the very end. And on top of that, we got a sweet Randy's throwing knife. Let's take a look uh, at the roll. Offhand strike cascade point. It's a rapid fire frame. So we saw this perk on the Taraxipus scout rifle and it was wild with how fast it shot. I'm curious to see it on this one. It's a rapid fire. But there you have it, little 39 bomb, 3.9 KD. Not bad. My first match using that taking spare rations. And I got to tell you, it felt good to use. Targeted redaction. All right, some final thoughts here on the hand cannon. Let's take a look at some of the perks it can possibly roll with. And, you know, theorize of what the potential god roll would be for PvP and even PV on top of that. So here on the barrels, just like any hand cannon, we have the options to increase the range, stability, and handling. And typically when it comes to these type of hand cannons, they're always really bad when it comes to the stability and also the handling. It just takes a while to swap. So... I prefer something like Fluted Barrel, and then I try to make up for the lack of range with the other perks. Now, next up, we have Acarize Rounds. We have Steady Rounds if you want some stability, and also Flared Magwell if you're really feeling the pain of not being able to reload your weapon quickly. Now, when it comes to the first column perk, this is where things get pretty interesting. We have Well Rounded, pretty easy perk to activate. You throw a grenade, and you get a stacking bonus to weapon stability, handling, and on top of that, even range. So right off the bat, you have three stats that are being increased on your hand cannon that it really benefits from. So keep that in mind. If you use a grenade build that you're spamming a bunch of lightning grenades, dust fields, whatever, this is pretty solid. I personally have used it. We have triple tap, outlaw for the reloading in PVE. And this is a brand new one that's absolutely hilarious. And I know a lot of you guys in the comments section are about to tell me, yo, Frabo, they made that perk for me, man. I'm about to be the best player in Destiny 2. Because let me read it for you. Repeatedly missing targets increases this weapon stability for a short time. This buff lasts for a short duration after our target is hit. So if you're shooting a bunch of shots, you're not hitting anybody, don't worry. Your stability will be increased. And the reason that's kind of decent here might actually consider using it is because when hand cannons are being shot repeatedly, you get increased bloom, which means that you're going to be less likely to hit a shot. Next up, we have Envious Assassin. You get some kills with another weapon. You buff the magazine on this one. Pretty solid, considering the fact that the magazine is only sitting at 8, and that really sucks when it comes to playing PvE, right? 
Next, a perfect float, not really worth talking about. Same with shot swap. Next call on things get really spicy. Keep away has been a brand new S tier perk. And on this hand cannon, I use, uh, you get plus 10 range, plus 30 reload, and your accuracy cone is reduced by five. Now, I want to compare this to the strand hand cannon. Um, I forgot its name right now on top of my head, but you can get keep away on it as well. You can enhance it on top of that. And it's been really, really good. The round robin. There you go. So pretty good perk, especially since I've already used it on a previous 120. I can tell you this is something you can look forward to. Next will be a collective action. Now, this one's interesting. It's a brand new perk. Never seen it before. I don't know what the benefit actually is, but it says you pick up an elemental shard or whatever. You throw a tangle and you get a stacking period of increased damage. Now, my curiosity is if the percentage is the same as something like Harmony, where it's not enough to two tap. If that's the case, it's not really that crazy, but still pretty solid. Destabilizing rounds of your MPV, I recommend that one as well. We have explosive payload, obviously for the increased range. Some people are fans of that. Harmony, you saw the gameplay. It has a little bit of potential, but not the perk I recommend. And last but not least, Frenzy. Some people kind of see it as only a damage bonus, but remember, you also get 100 reload speed, which is really effective when it comes to using it inside a PV. Anyways, that's pretty much my breakdown when it comes to the brand new Taking Spare Rations, the targeted redaction. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.